Hey guys, it's Tuesday morning and I have seven eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First few things I went ahead and pulled. This was in my storage unit. It is a Louisville Slugger Sonic um, Slow Pitch Softball Bat. Had it listed for like 150 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $120 plus shipping and I accepted. And then this right here I just listed yesterday so I just went ahead and put it on the bench because I saw it sold. This is a Sansui VCR. I got this for free at an estate sale uh, this past weekend and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in C5. It is a New York Giants hat that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. That's going out to viewer named Matt. He says, hey John, been watching your videos for a while now. Saw you pulling another item and saw this hat in the background. This used to be my favorite hat and I had the exact same one, but my dog chewed it up. I'm a college student who has been selling on eBay for a few years now and love it. Hope to make it big like you. Thanks for all the tips. My eBay store is Matt Attack 2001. Matt, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Uh, everybody watching this, Matt actually sent me a couple photos of the hat that the dog chewed up, and it just looks really bad. So sorry that happened. Hope the same thing doesn't happen to this hat. Next is in B1. This is a handheld metal detector I'm selling for my mother-in-law. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in F6. Is a pair of these Carhartt pants, new with the tag, something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. Those sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a Nintendo GameCube uh, travel bag, and the listing didn't have a bin, so I think it's right here. Let's see. Yeah, this is it. Got about $5 into this, that sold for $26.99 plus shipping. Last thing's in D2. This is a big uh, chip away cutlery knife I got up in Piqua from Danny and Parker. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. It's Wednesday morning. We're getting a little bit of snow today. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this are getting some snow too. I've got like 10 eBay packages to ship out, but first, I've got some viewer questions I want to answer. All right, first question is from Winona Clark Smith. Uh, Hi John, I was just wondering if you were ever able to close up those three storage units that you bought earlier this year. Yes, I was. I bought them, I think it was around like April or May, and it took me till about like August or September until I sold through all of it. There was still some stuff left over in the, the units that I just, a lot of it I donated and I paid a guy to just clean out the rest and I was like totally done with them. Um, but yeah, it took me four or five months. I ended up selling everything gross for about 20,000 and I was into them for 4,000 for the product, but then with all the rent and everything from units, that was like another couple thousand and then all the time and everything I put into it. I'm not sure if I would do it again. I would maybe do it in like the fall or winter, you know, in the off season of garage sales but when garage sales are like all over the place i don't know that i would really do that this year was kind of unique with covid and everything happening and when i bought them at the time there weren't really garage sales so it worked out this year i'm glad i did it next is from darren Wu. he asks i love all your videos and helped my mom resell and told her some things i learned from you i have a quick question do you avoid things from garage sales if you know that they are going to be hard to ship because of size or weight. Stay safe, God bless. I used to avoid big stuff, but over the years I've shipped a lot of big things and I've kind of learned like how to do it and just tips and tricks, things like that. So I try not to shy away too much. Uh, plus there's always Facebook Marketplace I can flip stuff on if, if it's just way, way too big to ship, like furniture or something like that. And I have the antique booths now too. So there's a lot of stuff where I'll buy it at a garage sale and I'll just take it straight to my antique booth and not have to worry about shipping it or eBay or anything like that. All right, first thing I'm shipping out is up here in E1. It is a uh, tech cart, go-kart, uh, like little race car thing. Uh, I've got a dollar into this. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Let's go on to your name, Thomas. He says, thank you for all the help. Through your videos, we've been able to start selling on eBay since this virus started and it has taken off well. Thomas Bettis, 1985 is my eBay name. Thanks again. Thomas, I'm glad to hear that the videos are helping and thank you so much for your support. Next thing is a coin down here in B6. It is a challenge coin. Let's see. What are these in here? So let's open this bag up. I got all these from Dania Parker up in Piqua, and this one just sold. It's an Air Force Sea Stars out of Cincinnati. That sold for $19.99, free shipping. Next is a board game that I just listed yesterday, right up here. The Beatles Flip Your Wig game. I've actually had this for quite some time. I'd say six months or longer, and I just never got around to listing it. I got it as part of a bulk buy, but I got about $10 into it. The box is in really rough shape. 
and unfortunately it's incomplete. I knew that when I bought it, so kind of had an idea what it was going to sell for. Complete, you know, decent condition. This sells for around 100 bucks. so definitely keep an eye out if you guys see this. Uh, but in the condition that mine's in, missing a bunch of pieces, I listed it for $34.99 plus shipping, and it sold. All right, I guess I could have stayed in B6 because I sold something else out of here. It is an ornament. Let's see, I think it's this one right here. Yep. Wonder Woman. Good time for this to be selling with the movie coming out, I think, in, what is it, like 10 days? This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, every video I show you at least one thing that I packed today is going to be this Wonder Woman ornament. All right, so I see a lot of people, when they ship things like this really small, they'll just throw it in a bubble mailer like this. They'll seal it down, close it, and ship it out. Problem with that is, if this gets caught underneath a box in transit, then this is going to get damaged, and you're going to have a pretty mad buyer on the other end. So, what I like to do is, I keep small boxes on hand for things like this. I have a 6x4x4 by four by four that I use a lot, and an 8x6x4, and the good thing about these is they don't weigh very much. So this 8x6x4 by by four weighs 4 ounces, and this 6x4x4 by four by four weighs 2 ounces, and this ornament only weighs 2 ounces. So, I'm probably going to have to go in this one right here. So the ornament and the box is going to be a total of 6 ounces and that's going to sh ship very cheaply for the buyer so i already put calculated shipping in for the buyer so they pay the six ounce rate so i think they paid about like four dollars or something like that so we're going to ship this in a box first i'm going to put some bubble wrap around it and it's good to go if you guys don't already have small boxes like this on hand, I highly recommend getting some. They're not very expensive, and they definitely pay for themselves with the money that you save on shipping. So I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check them out. All right, next thing, I sold some more of these hang tabs. These are selling really quick. Um, I got all these from my guy Mike, and I did not expect them to sell very quick. I was thinking, you know, it would take, you know, maybe a year to sell all these because there's 10 of them, and it's kind of a weird thing, but... I already sold, I think, seven of them. Let's see, this order is for three, so we gotta pull three of them out of here. I did a multi-quantity discount on these since they bought three. Um, it came to $52.77 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is an A1. This is a Philco stereophonic speaker. I got it at an estate sale. I guess it's been about a month ago now. I've got about $5 into this. It sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Your name, Ray Mundo, bought that. Thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like that speaker. Next is down here in B6. These are some Carhartt pants. Got these from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. New with tags, these sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I sold a backpack, I think it's this one back here. Let's see if I can wiggle it out of this. This is also something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. This is an Oakley backpack. Really cool, it's got a thick shell on the back. Only downside of it is it had a hole on top right here not really big but i made sure i pointed it out so the buyer saw that if it was in like really good condition it might have sold for about 40 or 50 as is it sold for 24.99 plus shipping next thing is a pint glass right in here this is a barry sanders uh, miller light pint glass i've got 25 cents into this it sold for 7.99 plus shipping next thing i'm shipping now is an e2 this is a north face men's jacket i got from kevin the tennessee picker that sold for 24.99 Plus shipping. Last thing I'm shipping out is right here. I actually pulled this from my storage unit yesterday. Somebody sent me an offer of $20 plus shipping. They didn't pay until today, so it's just been kind of sitting here until now. Uh, but they finally paid today, and I'm shipping it out. All right, guys, before I end this video, I've got some viewer mail I'm going to open. First is from Cameron. Let's see, we got a card. Hi, John. You were one of the first guys on YouTube I started watching this summer. You've inspired me to do reselling, and I am doing it part-time with dreams to go full-time one day. I've learned so much from you and also enjoy your podcast with Lonnie. These books are for your kids. It's my way of saying thank you. No need for a shout out. Please DM me so I can know you got them. Thanks again. Hope they like the books. Cameron from Oregon. So we got George, The Generous Giraffe. And I do believe Cameron wrote these books. Look at that. Created by Cameron Trumbo. That's cool. Bo, The Brave Beaver. And Allie, The Accepting Alligator. That is cool. Thank you, Cameron. I'm sure the kids will love these. 
Okay, next is from Mac Media. Got a letter, a little thing, eBay, Mac Media. Hey John, saw this and thought about you. Keep it, list it, whatever you want. I appreciate your content. Uh, do you mind mentioning my eBay site, Mac Media? There it is, bud. Look at this. Cincinnati Reds backpack, that is so cool. They um they give these away in the Reds Heads Kids Club, so I'm sure my daughter will love this. Thanks, Mac. All right, last but not least, this is from Parker. My buddy up in Pickwell, you guys have seen me go up there a few times and buy some stuff from Parker and his dad, Danny. Let's see what Parker sent. Oh, a remote. <laughs> I remember this. Um, Danny said that he saw in my video I bought a VCR and he thought this would go with it. So, Danny and Parker, thanks for the remote, guys. Appreciate it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.